Hello again everyone, it's Two Sheds, and it is time to go through another box of pennies. It's 10 p.m., um, so I'm not going to do but a few rolls tonight, and I'll get back to it tomorrow, Lord willing. Um, but uh, this is the box, well, let me back up. Last week, I went through a box that was just fantastic. Four and a half pounds of copper, 50 Canadian pennies, 16 or so. Uh, wheat pennies, got an Indian head penny. It was amazing. So I ran back up the next day to the same bank branch and grabbed another box. You know, the chances of them having anything in common with each other is slim. But, you know, I'll take that chance. Why not? Um, usually, uh, you know, basically my goal is three pounds of copper and ten wheat pennies. That's what I look for, what I hope I can find. I, I, I consider that. A pretty decent box and so that's what I'm gonna look for again with the hopes in the back of my mind that it might be better kind of like the other one let's get started I'm in the very first row and I saw this and I thought is that a die crack but I looked it goes all the way across but I looked at it under the Tom love and you can see copper so it's it's just a scratch but I thought well that's cool but anyway that's all it is is a scratch so in the first roll, there's 16 coppers, but look at these. Look at all of them in amazing condition. That's pretty pretty rare to see that in one roll. And they're not perfect, but they are super nice. And there might be an interesting box yet. Here in the second row, I find my first weedy. That's a good sign, 1952D. Oh, there's a Canadian. That looks like a new one. Oh, come on. 97. This was the first year that they quit making them 98% copper. Oh, we got one Canadian. 82. Looks like nine copper, this one. This is the fourth roll here, and here is my first Canadian copper, second Canadian penny, 1964. Very good. Hopefully this is going to be another good box. The last roll, the third roll, had um, 17 copper pennies in it. <laughs> That's not bad. 83. I'll weigh that one. Why not? It looks zinc. But... And it is. I've weighed a few. But... Oh, there's another Canadian right there. Well, that's neat. All right, that's good. 1980. Very nice. Be nice to get fifty of those again. There's another Canadian. That's a 12-sided. This roll had all three weights. That's kind of cool. Of the copper. Well, here's wheat penny number two. Very nice. Um, oh, 1940. That's a nice one. That's real nice. So not only is today my birthday, July 19. For a couple more hours. <laughs> but uh, today we got everything out of our other house. And we're done there. It's the end of another. <laughs> we were only there three years. But it's the end of another little segment of our life again. I did a walkthrough of the house. Um, oh, there's another wheat penny. Cool. 
I might uh, show you that little walkthrough I did. Well, I guess this will be the last time I'm in this house. We're done. Wow. This was my little office. You hear the echo behind me? <laughs> Around me? This was our bedroom here. This is the, we replaced almost everything, but we never replaced these nasty old doors. I gave the buyers a little extra money to fix those. We kept thinking we would, we just never did. Our nice new kitchen. Sayonara, signing off. Oh, is that, that's an old one. 1919. Oh, that's nice. That's over 100 years old there. Cool. Man, that's really cool. 1919. I believe I have that one in my book. But I'll check my little page I've got over here in my box in a minute. Two Wheaties in one row and one of them over 100 years old. You can't beat that. Well, I mean, I guess you could, but that's good. So what do you folks think about this Trump stuff? The shooter, oh my goodness, that was so close. So stinking close. He turned his head and, and lived. Crazy, crazy stuff. There's another super nice one. Wow. Very next roll, and here is Wheat Penny number four. Nineteen fifty one S. Well, that's neat. Fifty one S. Wheat penny number four. Oh, in a little while. I'll, I'll think I'll wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed here in a minute. I I promised to tell the story of a, a poker story or a gambling story. What are you gonna call it? And it was the day I couldn't lose. <laughs> I'll tell you more about it later. The very next roll again, and here's my fourth copper Canadian. I do have one that's not copper. 12-sided, 1985. I don't think it's, you know, I'm not getting like Canadian in every row or nothing, but it's looking like it's going to be a pretty good box, in my opinion. I set my closing date back two days. That was a little bit disappointing. But that's all right. Now I'm in the 10th roll. It's the last one I'm going to do tonight. But here is another Canadian copper. This makes five. Uh, earlier in this roll, I found another Canadian that was not copper. It's funny how many Canadian coins I'm getting here in Kentucky. I'm sure I'll never know why, but I, I, I wish I could know. Pretty curious. I've got a lot of trees in my backyard. And um, is that a wheat penny there? I think it might be. Ah, yeah, 1953. That is my fifth wheat penny. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But we just had limbs down all over the place, and we have just kept, we had them all piled up. And so the last couple of days, we've been going through them and breaking little 
the little twigs we use for kindling and the bigger ones we use, you know, we're going to start uh, making our fires out here in this backyard like we did at the other house. We're going to get some um, blocks and put in a circle, dig a little bit out in the middle and put lava rock in just like we had it at the other place. I can't wait to get that going and get our first fire in this house, at this house. Well, good morning, folks. It's almost 11 a.m. next day. And uh, this is the first roll that I've opened uh, this morning. And we get a 1944 wheat. That's cool. Lighting comes in from the window from outside that gives me a glare. So I've got adjusted. I hope this works. But that is wheat penny number six. That's pretty cool. Team 44. Oh, look at that. Right behind it, there's another one. Huh. 1953. Well, that's cool. Six and seven right there. So I wanted to tell you about this poker day. Look, there's another one of those. So I've got, in a little bit, I'm going to show you just how many of these I have found. And uh, this is the 11th roll so far. Pretty crazy. Oh, good grief. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Man, back back to back to back. 57D. Well, that's cool. 82. Anyway, I think it was, I was around 19, something like that. I know that the my 19th year, I've made most of my money. I Not a ton, believe me, but I made most of my money playing poker and other similar games that year. And um, I did pretty good. Uh, my little brother, who was seven years younger than me, he used to get a kick when I would come in and just pull money from all these pockets because... While I would play it on, on nights that I was winning, which I did win more than I lost um, quite a bit, I found a, I'm, I'm backing up and backing up, I found that if you find people, guys, usually older, like married or something, that like to just go out with the guys and goof off and have a few beers and stuff, they they they'll even tell you that's like hey I like to I like getting together with the guys and play a little poker I don't mind losing thirty bucks, you know I, if I went out to eat I'd roll thirty bucks easy you know so uh, when the, with with that attitude a lot of times they lose thirty bucks <laughs> and I was happy to be the recipient of that thirty dollars and um, you know I, I lost sometimes but I won. A lot. Okay, starting the next row. Anyway, um, when I would play poker, I would, on, on nights I was winning, I would just slowly, inconspicuously, start taking money. And folks, you know, we're talking quarter ante, dollar, two dollar bets, max, you know, real, real common for there to be 10 cent and quarter bets and stuff like that, you know. So the end of the night, you're talking, you know, somewhere between 30 and 50 bucks most of the time. There was a few nights that were bigger than that. But um, I would just take money, coins, quarters, and bills, and just start sliding them into my pocket as I was playing, just because I don't want people to see. If I'm having a winning night, I don't want people to look over at me and go, we got to get him. It's, You know, I tried to keep the stack about the same as everybody else's. So I would just... As the night went on, I'd just take a few bills and put them in my pocket. And I smoked a lot back then. <laughs> I remember sometimes I'd look down on either side of me and I'd have a cigarette on two, two different ashtrays. It's like, good grief. Anyway, um, this particular day, I was at my girlfriend's apartment. It was her, her family. She lived with her family, her mom and dad and brother. And we had a poker game going. There was several of us. And it was just one of those nights when, you know, they happened once or twice in a lifetime that I should have been in Vegas. I just couldn't lose. I mean, it was just 
insane. And it wasn't long before I took the money of the few people that were playing. And um, my girlfriend's dad stepped in there and goes, this is, this is crazy. I think I can beat you or something. I forget what I always said, but 82. He's, so it finally got to where it was just me and my girlfriend's brother. My girl, she didn't play. My girlfriend's brother and my girlfriend's dad. And then uh, her brother ran out of money. And her dad was like, this is just ridiculous. He goes, I've never seen nothing like it. He goes, you can't keep winning. It just can't go on. He goes, we're just going to play five-card showdown where at least I'll win 50% of the time. And I'm telling you, I won seven or eight out of ten. He was digging through his closet, digging through his wife's clothes, digging through her purses, trying to get money. He says, you, this street can't go on. And I find... I, I took him for every bit of money that was in the house. Every every bit. I mean, we were down to just nearly nothing. And he'd go, five card showdown. And I would still win. <laughs> and I, I think I went home with that night. It was under $200, you know. I'm telling you, it wasn't big, big money. But it was pretty big for me back there in, in 1979. The very next roll again, and we get another wheat penny. I think this is number nine. I'll count after this and make sure. 1957. Pretty cool. I remember shortly after becoming a Christian, 82, I joined this um, little Church of Christ group. And um, there were several teens there. And I think I was like a year or two older than most of them. You know, they were anywhere from just barely just became teens up to 16 or 17. And there was a lady there. She was so excited that I had joined there. She would frequently just give me the keys to her van. And, and you know, I would take, all, all of us would gather up and go to Kings Island or a movie or so. It was so cool. I mean, it was, it was really neat. Things don't always stay that way, though. It was not too long later till I got, Mixed back up with the old crowd again and went back into worldly ways. And it was a, oh, two eighty twos in a row. And it was a couple of years before I came to my senses and uh, started trying to live the correct life again. And I've been attempting it ever since. Just a roll or two later, and I come to another Canadian copper. Actually, the roll before this roll. I found another Canadian, but it was like a 2001 or something like that, non-copper. Pretty cool. 64. I think it's going to be a pretty good box. It's going pretty well. I'm like, I don't know, roll 14 or 15, something like that. Pretty nice, wouldn't you say? Not as brilliant as a few of them, but super nice. Let me hold this up and show you. Those are all copper coins that are just in really, really nice condition. A few of them not as nice as others, but just most of these are just super, super nice. It's pretty wild. I don't think I'm going to have any problem getting three pounds unless something drastically changes. Very next roll again, and here is another Canadian copper, 1978. In the old game of poker, which, guys, I don't play anymore. I'm a Christian, and I've... I don't think that's a good thing for a person to do. There's another Canadian. Cool, 1974. Wow. That's really cool. That's eight copper ones already. But anyway, you know, um, when I played, um, I tried to put everything in my favor that I could. I, not cheating. I, I detest cheating. Uh, one time when I was a little kid... 
me and my dad was playing a card game. And I was just thinking I was cute, and I pulled a fast one, and she didn't. He caught me. And he just, he didn't say much. He just put the cards away. And I apologized and apologized. And it was a long time before he would ever play cards with me again. And boy, that hurt. So uh, somewhere in there, I learned my lesson. <laughs> um, but anyway, I found that, um, you know, these fellas that wanted to just play and have a good evening, after they had several booze in them, several beers, they would oftentimes not bet quite as um, sensibly as they normally would. Um, and it was, you know, they, they might lose their $30 a little quick or whatever, I don't know. But um, what you have to be careful for is if they get too many, then they start getting mad. And I was at a home, somebody's home poker game at the kitchen table one time. This fellow started making, he, he was clearly inebriated and started making wild bets and losing and there's tons of money out on the table. He literally ripped one of his cabinets off the wall. He was so mad. And then he ran down the hallway and I didn't know the guy very well. Met him out of Bowling Alley. And one of the guys that knew him said, he's got a gun. So we just all cleared the table, you know, grab a few bucks and we're out of there. And I think it was about a week later, I was at that bowling alley again, and he came up and he goes, well, let's, let's get another game together. He goes, <laughs> goes I, I won't do that this time. And I'm like, no way. He said, I, I left money on the table. I will not ever play with you again. No way. The very next roll again, and this is wheat penny number 10 right here. I counted, this is the 17th roll, so... If this keeps up, this is going to be another really, really good box. I mean, it's 10 already, so it's already a good box. You know, the, the difference between the Christian and the non-Christian as far as sin goes, because Christians still make mistakes. I think they make a better attempt, or most, theoretically, we try not to. We try not to sin, but the difference is if we if you follow the protocol of the Bible, you read it and you understand it, and you follow it, you can be forgiven. Whereas those who have not become Christians and believed on Jesus are not forgiven, and that's and I encourage everyone <laughs> be forgiven. <laughs> Folks, the very next roll, and here's a Canadian copper, 1974. I'm practically getting a Canadian copper or wheat penny in almost every single row. That is really neat. 82, 81, 82. Will I be okay getting back to boxes that just have 10 wheat pennies and 3 pounds? <laughs> You don't want to get to where that would irritate you if that's all you got, because that's I've always felt like that was pretty good. Uh, there's a 2000 something. There's another Canadian. What year? 1978. That's 69 there. There's another Canadian. <laughs> that's all right. 82. Oh, look, look, another one of those. Wow. That's really nice. There's another Canadian, but I think that was a non copper. Yeah, 1999. That's four of those. You're actually losing a fraction when you get those. I don't mind, I enjoy finding them because the Canadian dollar is worth slightly less than the US dollar, so. It's really not worth quite a penny, if you can call ours worth a penny these days. So the Democrats, <laughs> many of them went to Biden saying, you know, pass the torch. And he, he refuses. He's not going to do it. And so I've heard one, I believe it was a journalist, saying that 
they're almost accepting the fact that they're going to lose this race and they you know the the strategy will be to you know pull back and punt you know try to figure out how to win the next election and just give up the four years you know if they you know Biden I'm sorry Trump set so many good things in order and the day Biden got in he started reversing them all I heard Trump say that if you add up the 10 worst presidents of all time they haven't equaled the damage that Biden has done. That's scary if that's true. The very next roll again, and here's another case. In fact, there's two in a row. Looks like a 12-sided behind it. Or is it? No, it ain't. No, I think it's a new one. This one is 70, 70 what? 76. Yeah, this is a newer one, 2002. <laughs> Practically every roll. Pretty nice. Now I'm starting to think, will I get four pounds again? I'm just, at this rate, I'm pretty positive I'll get three. Okay, two rolls later. <laughs> I didn't get a wheat penny or Canadian the last row. I did, however, come across an 83 that I, th I said, that looks like copper. I weighed it, and it fooled me. <laughs> it wasn't. What year we got here? 19, is that S? No, that's, oh, 50D, yeah. Yep. That's number 11, I believe. This is the 21st roll in the first half. So it's going pretty doggone good. Oh, there's another one. 19, 1946. How about that? Number 12. Remember, one of them also was over 100 years old. Oh, also, I uh, did a little bit of math. I've told you before, it takes about eight and a half copper pennies per roll to get your three pounds. And it's about a, just slightly over um, 11 and a half copper pennies per roll, 82, to, um, to get four pounds. So I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I feel really confident about the three. There's another Canadian. Oh, I don't think. Let's weigh that one. I don't think it look. It don't have the copper look as much as that last one. Yeah. Is this one of the new ones again? Looks like it. Get a lot more of the new ones this time. Two thousand six. A couple rolls later again, and here is Wheat Penny number 13. Still, oh, 1940. Nice. Still in the first half. A couple rolls to go in the first half. We were having our coffee this morning, my wife and I. And we were talking about we have been going so nonstop every day for the last few months, you know, with the Trying to empty the other house, and then this house was fully furnished and all the personal belongings we had to go through. And then also my, my cousin that passed and trying to take care of his estate, which I'm still working on. We've just felt like every single day is just nonstop. And we're hoping that when we finally get these houses closed, that we can wake up in the morning. We are semi-retired. We can wake up in the morning and not feel like there's things that have to be done today. This is the 25th row, the end of the first half. Here is a 12-sided 1991 Canadian. That makes 12 of the copper Canadian. How about that? <laughs> so I went and looked at today's exchange 
a Canadian dollar is worth 73 cents of a U.S. dollar. And so, <laughs> for every, I've got six of the non-copper ones right now. For every 10 non-copper Canadian pennies you find, you lose just under three cents <laughs> in the exchange. I still enjoy finding them, though. Halfway through. First row in the second half, and there is Canadian Copper Penny number 13. Fun finding those. I've got on my table here a helium miner that's not set up at this house. I had it set up over at the other house. <laughs> I had it set up mining for a year or two. I don't remember exactly how long, but uh, it made a little bit. Well, that, that side's a mess, ain't it? Oh, it's got something all over it. I'll check that out. I think it's copper, but anyway. Um, when I ordered it, man, Helium Miners was really raking it in. Amazing. And I waited and waited. It took about whew, a little bit less than a year for the crazy thing to finally show up. And by the time it showed up, Helium had changed their protocol and it had dropped down to making very, very little. It's like, thanks a lot. But uh, then they changed the protocol again and added another uh, current crypto coin thing to it. And so it's actually mining three different things and you can convert them over to Helium. And so now it's, you know, it's, It'll actually pay for itself someday. I think it that could cost just under five hundred or about five hundred dollars. And I believe I've believe I've done close to two hundred. So if it keeps up, it will eventually pay for itself. But I, you got to pay a fee to change the address. And my son's coming down in a week or two. I'm just going to let him set it up for me. That penny was a 1969. I think it was a melted crayon on there. Second roll in the second half, and here is the 1952S Wheat Penny. Oops, I, I bump it a lot. Sorry about that. Number 14. Wheaty number 14. That's pretty good, if you ask me. 82. There's another Wheat Penny. Number 15. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty nice. Fourth row in the second half, and here is Canadian Penny number 14. Most of them I'm finding are these older, older ones that have more copper weight to them than the slightly newer ones, so that's cool. My mom should be here from next door any minute. My wife's fixing her lunch. We usually have lunch with her on Sundays and a few other family members, but we're not able to, but we're not going to be able to tomorrow. So we're fixing lunch for her today. Uh, Weedy, number 16, 51D. Wheat penny number 16. Wow, pretty neat. Pretty neat indeed. I am putting that copper away. I'm closer and closer to my goal for the year. I've been trying to decide what my goal will be for next year. I haven't decided for sure yet. Well, I'm back to the pennies after having lunch with my wife and my mom. And the next row in here is another Canadian copper. This is the 15th. 12-sided. My wife made German potato salad, and it's really good, but you have to have a taste for it. We got it from my aunt. It's an authentic German um, potato salad recipe. She got it somewhere over in Germany. And um, it's a it's got vinegar and bacon and celery and different things. You, you serve it warm, not cold. 
But lots of people don't like it because they don't like the vinegar. I like it. But I've been to a few German restaurants over the years, and I've tried their German potato, and I didn't like their German potato salad. I think I see another 12-side Canadian back there. I'll try to take, oh, there's another one of those. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I got a bunch of them out of this box. After this roll, I'll take a picture of the German potato salad and show it, show it to you. 19, 1983, that's 16 of those now. The very next roll again, and another Canadian. This is 17. Earlier in this roll, I found another Canadian, but it was not copper. So that's like um, seven of those, I think. 1983, 12-sided copper, 98% copper. Canadian. C-A-N-A-D-A. -A -A. That's how I heard somebody... Say it once before. Looky here. This one's got a little bit of something going on around the number. A little scratch or something. Other than that, it's in amazing condition. I've still got better than a dozen rolls to go. And look at this. Those are all in just super condition. I... Earlier I showed you some, and I even culled some of those out. And I might need to cull a couple of these. But <laughs> that's an awfully lot in one box. That's just these old copper, beautifully kept pennies. Just crazy. The very next roll again, and Wheat Penny number 17. How about that? 1940, another 1940. Huh, cool. That's a lot of Wheat Pennies in one box. Guess that's all for this row. Eighty-two. Right near the end of the seventh row here in the second half, wheat penny number eighteen. Eighteen. There's already been fifteen copper in this row. Well, it's funny though. The last row had two copper pennies. That's the only row that's been like that. Pretty wild. 82. Oh, that's my first 2009 there, too. So it looks like 16 copper in this one. This is the very next roll again, and here's wheat penny number 19. And I just saw another wheat penny back there. I mean, another Canadian penny back there. Nineteen fifty six wheat penny number nineteen. That's pretty cool. That's the copper. Nineteen sixty eight. Don't you like that maple leaf? Isn't that nice? I like that. Try to change my angle a little bit. That's a yucky one there.
Copper. Copper, copper. Eighty-two. Oh, another weedy. That's a nice one. Number twenty. Nineteen fifty-one. E pluribus unum. Weed penny number twenty. That's great. Almost at the very end of the next drill, I found Wheat Penny number twenty-one. 1946, Philly. 21 wheat pennies. 82. And copper. Golly, folks, the next roll again, and toward right up here near the end, another wheat penny. That's 22 wheat pennies in this box. 1952. Yeah, so that's cool. Pretty neat. That was an 82. With nine rolls left in the box, right at the end of this roll, we got another one, 1994, 12-sided. Canadian Copper Penny, number 19. Now with seven rolls to go, this is Canadian Copper Penny, number 20. 1962. Pretty nifty. I'm still curious why I'm getting so many Canadian here in, I guess you'd say, the heart of a USA. Years and years ago, I lived in Mount Sterling, Kentucky, for almost two years. And uh, I believe they said that was the, called the Gateway gateway to the mountains in the east and now six rolls to go and here's canadian copper penny number 21 1970 a few rolls back i found my second 2009 lincoln commemorative and i have the last uh i don't know handful of rolls I've had a couple of them that didn't hit the nine needed for the three pounds. Of course, I've had several with, you know, 14 or 15. That's a, so the three pounds is not going to be an issue, but I wonder if I could have had enough of them that was less to keep me from getting the four. And we'll just have to find that out in a little while. This, folks, is German potato salad, and it is good. Well, I went a few rolls without getting anything other than some copper, but here is Weedy number 23. 1944, Philadelphia. And I tell you, folks, I am not used to finding this many weed pennies. Oh, that was a 70. Yeah. Well, I'm always talking about selling for this other company, What a couple of other companies. Here's one of the tinier items I sell for them right here. Overload heating elements. This one's by Alan Bradley. I just sold uh, 15 of them to a company, oh, I guess in the last week for $115. And they consider that a really good deal. I brought these in and counted out however many they needed. I got to get these back out in the shed. Anyway, I thought I'd show you. I sell some stuff that I can't pick up. I need a forklift. But um, most of the stuff that I sell, I can... Some of it's way heavier than this, but most of it I can handle. Uh, this is just some of the tinier stuff. Eight rolls to go after this one. And here's Wheat Penny number 24. I wish I could get boxes like this all the time. But I, you know, I'm going to get come back to reality. Probably my next box. I picked up the two boxes of halves and the one box of pennies. Hmm. Is that yes? Day before yesterday. And, uh, you know, I'll probably be back to reality on that one. 
But maybe I'll get my three pounds of copper and my 10 wheat pennies, which is A-OK. -okay. And usually along with your 10 wheat pennies, you get a couple of Canadian. And every now and then you get one from the Bahamas or something like that. Makes it fun. I enjoy my hobby. Most of the time. Almost all the time. 82. And I enjoy hearing from you guys. That's probably one of the best parts of the hobby. Chatting with some of you guys about different things. Somebody jumped on my short. Uh, I put up a short about my um, Indian head penny. I guess last night. And somebody wrote, it's probably not worth a nickel. It's like, don't be a Debbie Downer. It's worth at least a dollar. <laughs> Five rolls to go. And wheat penny, number 25. So tell me what you think. Do you think that our 53 Philly is uh, that German potato salad something you think you'd like or something you don't care for? Because it is vinegar, has vinegar in it. When we take it to potluck, there's about half and half, I guess. A lot of people, there's just a lot of people who aren't into vinegar these days. My dad said when he was a kid, he ate so much vinegar, his lips turned white. But um, the people who like it just practically beggar to bring it back more and more. Her best friend um, up in Indiana, she's got three boys, all of them under 16. They're all two years apart, and they're all born in June. <laughs> but um, uh, one of them just absolutely loves it, and wants, she's supposed to take some to them next time she goes up. I hope I didn't miss anything there. My head was on the potato salad, not the pennies. And now five rolls, four rolls to go. And wheat penny number 26. 1957. 26 wheat pennies in this box. Twenty-seven. <laughs> Wheat penny number twenty-seven, nineteen fifty-five. How cool! <laughs> Three rolls to go, and here's Wheat penny number twenty-eight. Twenty-eight Wheat pennies in this box so far. My stack's getting real high over there. And we're hoping to get four pounds of copper, if it's at all possible. Every several rolls, I still continue to get one of those super, super nice uh, copper pennies. Sixty-nine S. Yes. Man, I tell you, when I was a kid, I couldn't find one of them forever. I found quite a few in the last year now. Look at that. Pretty cool. Now with two rows to go, here's Canadian copper number 22. 1968. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a Canadian behind it. It's another one of those. Man, that, look how nice that is. It's weird finding so many of these. 1975, that's 23. Now that row only had four, five, copper ones in it <laughs> one roll after this and here's canadian copper penny number 24 another 12 sided 
Oh, it's the uh, centennial. So it's not even a centennial. It's the 50-year... I cannot think of what that's called. I have to look it up every time. Oh, also found two more in this row. A 59 and a 63. Pretty weird, ain't it? Oh, I looked up an 83 a second ago. I thought, oh, that looks coppery. That one don't. I'll weigh it anyway. If you heard it, you heard the zinc. One row after this one, folks. I got quite a few 82s to weigh. That last row had um, five copper. I forgot to tell you the row before that had 20. Look at this, folks. This is kind of weird. These are all 82s. Those are zinc. Those are copper. It's, never, it's always the other way around. I've had a couple of times recently where the zinc way outweighed the copper. <laughs> are, are people calling them out? I don't understand that. Okay, here's the moment of truth, and it does feel heavy. Besides the wheat pennies and the Canadian pennies, there's 24 of the copper pennies that are just super nice I got held out, out of this. We just under, if you count the 24 pennies, it's over four pounds. We're going to call it a four pound box. Man, oh man, 25 or so wheat pennies, 25 or so Canadian copper, a bunch of super nice uh, copper uh, uh, Lincoln cents and four pounds of copper pennies to boot. Another amazing box. Thanks for watching. Probably back to reality next time, <laughs> but it's been fun.